All right, so I have my whole system hooked up here. Uh, I'm using my neutral lead since neutral and ground are the same thing. My prong gets a way better connection in neutral. Now remember that this little one right here is 120 volts. That one can create a good shock, so don't play around with that one. And uh, always just check to make sure, you know, you don't want to get a shocking experience of any kind. Anyways, this 5-volt uh, plasma ball here is, you know, batteries are still dead. Uh, if you want me to prove that, I can uh, take this wire off here. Turn this on. See, that's barely even living. Yeah, so I will hook this back up. Half-assed. There we go. That's the best half-ass hookup I've ever seen. Okay. And for the final finale. Look at how simple and small that design is I came up with. <laughs> Just a coil. Uh, 18 gauge fine strand, or 28 gauge fine strand uh, enameled copper wire. I did the same thing with this, 240, four turns right here, because, I don't know, I feel like it's creating a type of flux inside of the circuit. Uh, it might not be really doing anything, though. 20,000 cycles a second is hard to control. Uh, that's all I have to say. It's a lot harder to control than lower frequencies. That's why the government uses low frequency. Not only to ruin our health, but because they don't know how to control it and because even if they could, they'd have to give it away for free. Anyways, we will turn this ball on and, oh, before I turn this ball on, I want to show you how it's hooked up. The coils hooked to my red lead. My uh, ground lead is hooked up to the neutral. I can also do the same thing with the ground, but it's really hard to get a good connection with the ground. Uh, so we're going to turn this on, turn it back off, and you'll notice that it is actually grounded. It is resonating after I turned it off. Now, mind you, the batteries weren't work working worth a damn before. And this is what happens when they are working. And when I turn it back off, it does that. Now, the batteries won't last long right now because they got a self-charge. A lot of you are wanting to know what kind of readings I'm getting. Okay. According to this, I am getting 0.700 volts. It looks like it's spiking in the one amp range. Yep, one amp. One amp to sometimes two amps. So 0.7 volts times two amps. Let me calculate that real quick. Okay, so after calculating, it says I am producing between 0.7 and 1.4 watts still while this is in resonance. This isn't turned on. So what happens when I turn it on? Let me show you. Goes all the way up to 16 amps. At 0.9 volts. I think it's about to... Wow, I'm actually surprised how long it's uh, running for right now. The battery should have been dead. Do the batteries not die now? What's going on? I have no idea what's going on here, guys. What? It's turned on. And it's still running. It's saying I'm producing... Oh, it says I'm staying at 4 amps. Wow. What? 4 amps? 
You can even hear it. Listen. It's pulling current now. Now it's not. You hear it? Pulling current. Now it's not. And it's the, the device is, is turned on. What? I don't understand what's going on here. Besides, it's this is an even better tuned circuit that I just accidentally built. The batteries aren't dying, guys. I, I don't know what's going on. What? And then when I turn it off... Okay. And then when I... When I disconnect this... Okay. And I turn it on. Okay, it's much weaker. Let's just wait for the batteries to die out a little bit here. Hey, I'm going to wait for the battery to die a little here. Alright, so this is a fun fact, guys. I have not charged these batteries in days. And somehow it's still holding a charge for over five minutes. I'm actually kind of impressed. Must be because of the ground is it's keeping the gas se semi ignited. That ground is very, very amazing. God did a great, great job with it. So once this thing dies here, I am going to uh, turn it back on see if it still self powers. So one second. All right. So this is where it gets even better. I still have it hooked to the ground. Okay. Now look at my amps. Low as heck. Still grounded. And then when I turn it... Okay, so when I turn it off, now we get nothing. We turn it back on. Barely anything now. She's really dead.